Hi guys and welcome back and if you're new here, welcome. So I figured I would sit down and film using some new foundations for you guys and using the Pure Cosmetics Festival palette that I did get in a boxy charm that I have not gotten around to use. So if you want to see the review on the Maybelline Dream Urban Coverage Foundation and how to get this look, which I love how it turned out, then you're in the right place. If you are not yet subscribed, please click that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to click that tiny little bell so it will notify you every single time I upload a new video. Okay, so let's get into trying these two new foundations. First, I want to prime with my Too Faced Hangover RX. Um, I like this one. It does have a nice smell to it. And I do feel like it does hydrate very well. But even though it is a hydrating primer, I learned from my other foundation video that I'm still going to use my drop shot oil no matter what I'm using. I'm also going to, again, go in with, you guys know, my poreless pr putty. I can't speak today. Oh, my poreless putty from e.l.f. Because I can't live without this in my routine. I just, I love it. It does minimize my pores. And I feel like it does make the makeup look and stay better too. Don't mind if you see all these cuts. This was a pimple that just won't go away. Joffrey's still here. Also, it's very irritated from being sick. And that's all still healing up. But hey, it's life. You roll with what you're given. And you make it work. And then I want to put some up here to help with these lines. But like I said, we're definitely, we're definitely going to go in with the uh, drop shot oil because last time I wasn't sure. So this is the drop shot oil, couple of drops right on to your hand, rub it in. I don't like to put it on my nose because my nose for some reason can get a little bit oily on its own and then take a little bit more and put it right on my forehead and rub it in and usually if I'm not sitting down filming a video I will let it sit for like a minute or two before I apply my foundation and you can if you want mix it into your foundation instead of doing it just on your face. So these to me are new um, because I didn't haven't seen them before. So these are the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. Full coverage, protection makeup, and it has sunscreen of SP50. I have two shades that I picked up because like I always say, I am horrible, horrible at shade matching. So I got 228 soft tan and 220 uh, natural beige. And I think, let's see here. Put a little bit of that one right there. That is the 220 and That's the 228. I think we're going to go ahead with the 220 for today. So, like I said, I saw this and it was not a foundation that I tried. So, so let me pick it up and let's see what we think of it now. Have you guys tried this foundation? If so, did you like it? Did you not like it? What are your thoughts? 
Um, it does have a little bit of like that sunscreen smell to it. I do wish it wasn't in like the squeezy tube because I'm not loving, loving that at all. But let's see here what we come up with. Are we going to like this? Are we not going to like it? Let's see. Let's start buffing it in. Now again, remember, I did put my drop shot oil on, so it will make my face look a little bit more shiny right now than, you know, it usually does. But let's see what happens. Overall, so far, I don't think it has much coverage. And it says it's full coverage. And I'm not feeling full coverage at all. I'm really, really not feeling that it is full coverage. It is nice. It's a nice shade. It matches. But I'm not feeling the, the full coverage that it's saying. Hmm. So, I don't know if I do want to go in with another layer or not, because this is not at all full coverage. Do you think we could build this up or will it get patchy? Let's give it a go and see. So... I'm going to go in with just a little bit more, see if we can build this up to a full coverage, because I like a full coverage foundation. And let's see if we can build this up. I'm not seeing much of a difference. Like just slightly but again it claims to be a full coverage foundation and I'm not getting a full coverage vibe at all whatsoever from it it is nice but not feeling full coverage whatsoever on this hmm Definitely not full coverage. 100% definitely not full coverage whatsoever. So, I'm going to, you know, you guys know, 16 hour camo from e.l.f. Because we've been pushing this product in for way too long. And it's not full coverage, so we're just going to go about and see if this is just like a good light day foundation for like not full coverage days. This is kind of disappointing because I really, really love their Fit Me line. And that is an amazing foundation. So I don't know what they were thinking with this one because this is not whatsoever full coverage at all. It does look pretty. It does look pretty on the skin, but it's kind of annoying when brands say that, oh, it's this, it's that, and it's not even close to what it's supposed to be. All in all, I do like it so far, which is good. But we'll see how it holds up 
once we start applying everything else to it, I do feel like the, co the concealer isn't sitting nice on top of it. You know how when you get certain um, foundations and concealers that just don't play nice with each other, and then you find ones that just work so beautiful together? I don't think they're playing nice together, but we'll figure it out. I am going to use my Too Faced Translucent Powder just to set this stuff. So I'm going to set here and hope that this helps make the concealer play a little bit more nice. Is my sponge not damp enough? All right, let's dampen it a little bit more with some, some setting spray and see what happens. I always like to set here. There we go. My sponge wasn't damp enough. Hmm. It is humid today, which is surprising. I think, I think maybe we're getting spring and summer all at once here anyway i always set here like i always say in all my videos just to keep the smile lines from standing out yeah i'm not seeing full coverage on this at all because i have used other foundations where like right here this area is kind of where like i still have joffrey and other foundations you really can't tell that Joffrey is there but with this one you could kind of see it and I kind of have um, redness that's peeking through hmm, not full coverage at all that's my one complaint so far eyebrows Anastasia Beverly Hills and the power of editing we'll be right back okay brows are on you know they don't look too shabby but uh, you know, what are we going to do? Not every day is going to be a good brow day. And not every day is they're going to look identical. So, you know, some days you might have perfect brows. Other days you might have one that looks like the ugly stepsister. And you just got to roll with it. So the foundation is a tad tacky. So I am going to set it with my Fit Me um, powder. And this is in the shade 315. I'm just going to gently set it so that... It doesn't stay tacky. I hate when your face is sticky. It just annoys me. It will bother me all day long if I don't set it. I do think that adding some of this kind of helped with the coverage a little bit. Being that it wasn't in my opinion, a full foundation. Have you guys tried it? I know I asked you guys if you've tried it, but did you feel like it was a full coverage for you? Like, what did you feel? I don't know. I don't know what to think. Well, I do know. I do know. It's For me, it's not a full coverage foundation. As always, Too Faced, Chocolate Soleil, we're going to bronze. <laughs> It's easy to set a young heart on the run To see it crashing up the sky Falling one by one Walking alone on the coldest night There's nothing I can ever say So, today for highlight, I have the Juvia's Place in Neferati. I believe that's how you say it. Um, I wanted to tell you guys I love this. It's a loose powder highlight. This stuff is very, very pigmented. 
Can you see that? Look at that. I figured we'd play with a different highlight today that we haven't used yet. That's my other problem is foundations and highlights. I have so many highlighters that I don't even know what to do with. So we're going to start playing with all the stuff that I have a lot of. Look at that. I love this highlight. And when you take pictures, oh my God, it looks so amazing. So, so amazing. So if you guys haven't tried any of the highlighters from Juvia's Place, definitely give it a try. I never really cared for loose powders before because they can get messy. But this one, I really, really like. So we're going to do our eyes. Now I'm going to prime my lids with my soft okra. Because I just love this stuff. I had a ABH concealer that for a while I was using as a eye primer and I fell in love with it it made my makeup stay so long and look so pretty and I ran out of it and I put it on the side so that I could remember the shade and somehow it ended up in my empties obviously and then I never wrote down the shade and I haven't found the right one yet it was one specific shade that was a little bit off in color wise because I have a couple that I've been using and they're not the same at all okay so now that we have that done I got this in my boxy charm this is the Pure Cosmetics Festival, and I figured I never really mess around with any of the palettes that I get from Boxy on my channel, so let's play with this guy. I think first we're going to go in with this color here, and we're just going to speed through this so that it's not seven hours long. It's easy to set a young heart on. Crashing out the sky, falling one by one Walking alone on the coldest night There's nothing I can ever say to change your mind thoughts on this palette I am really surprised and I'm kind of wishing that I used it a little bit sooner because I am really really liking it um I think I'm gonna use one of the glitter shades so I'm gonna use my NYX glitter glue let's be smart here and put some 
on the back of my hand instead of just directly on a brush. I like these colors. They're so, so pretty. I just want to kind of stop the glitter right there. And let's do the same thing here. These colors are so pretty. Okay. Next, I want to take my Juvia's Place brush. And I think, oh, my eyes are burning. I think I want to take some of the shade right here. Holy crap. Holy crap. That's, that's glittery, all right. Huh. Well, this just went from casual to festival really, really quickly. Well, the glitter glue is making my eyes tear. Oh, I feel them getting all watery. Wow. This is um, really not a everyday look, but it's okay. Sometimes we just play with makeup and not have an everyday look. This is so freaking pretty. Oh my gosh. I really wish that I got around to using this palette sooner. What? Why did I wait so long? This is so pretty. Wow. That is so, so pretty. Not a, a I'm going to go to work and, uh, you know, school or whatever look. But, you know, sometimes you just got to go with it. This is so freaking pretty. Did you guys get this palette in your boxy charm? I think everybody got it. If you did, what are your thoughts? Because I'm like, oh, my God. I can't believe I waited this long to use it. I think I was going to put pink underneath, but I don't want to be too drastic. But listen, we're, we're already deep in glitter. So we're going to use this pink shade and see how it turns out. It's only makeup. We can always take it off and start over. Wow, that's a statement. That's that's pigmented. That is really pigmented. I cannot get over the pigmentation in this palette. Wow. This is going to be a nice, fun, summer palette to work with. I think I'm going to go into some of this purple, because why not? On the same brush. and just trace right underneath it. Ha ha. Oh yeah. We're already bold. Why not just go a little bit more bolder? And then we'll blend those together and we'll see what happens. I cannot believe the pigmentation on on this palette. I really can't. Wow. I don't even know if I want to put top eyeliner on. Huh. Wow. This is so pretty. 
Let's see what I brought over here for eyeliner. What did we bring, guys? Rimmel. This is the Scandalous Eyes. Wow. So I did bring over a pink eyeliner because I wasn't sure what I was going to do. But I think it's going to blend right into this. So we'll just, let's see. Maybe it might stand out a little more. This is the ColourPop one in the shade, what shade is this? Insomniac. Oh, it does make the pink stand out a little bit more rather than putting just a black shadow or a black eyeliner my allergies are so bad I can hear myself whoa now this is a real statement <laughs> I'm digging it I'm digging it mascara is the it cosmetics Superhero mascara, you guys know I love this stuff. So I know that I try really hard when I'm creating looks on my channel to kind of keep it, oh, all right, we'll leave that there for a second, to keep them simple and quick and easy or wearable for anywhere you're going, but sometimes, you just gotta play with some color and some fun. I really like this look. I think that the pink kind of like stands out just enough, but not too, too much. That kind of gives that festival vibe to it and makes you feel festive okay so I really like this this is out of my comfort zone honestly um, I do like to play with color here and there not very often like I will wear purple I will wear green I will wear blue but like this for me is really bold and out of my comfort zone and I absolutely love it so for lips, we're going to go in with ColourPop's Times Square because we just want to keep it toned down because we want the eyes to be the focus. And there we have it. Oh my goodness, I really, let's spray. I really like the way that this turned out. Overall thoughts on the foundation. It does look nice. Let's check again in the mirror one more time. It does look nice. It does look very nice and flattering on the skin. I don't notice anything unusual. I mean, my smile lines, I always see them. I did set them. They are creasing a little bit more than they usually do, but that's not really like a deal breaker. Um, it isn't a full coverage foundation at all whatsoever. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like it's a full coverage, but I mean, we did try some new stuff. This palette guys, I'm, I'm like, let me grab it without dropping it. Again, this was the Pure Cosmetics, the Festival Palette. I am shocked and kind of wishing that I did use it sooner. There is a ton of fallout that you get from it, which when I just lifted it, my hands are now all pink. 
Um, but again, Fallout isn't a deal breaker. Overall, I, I like it. I like the foundation. I just wish that it would have said light to medium coverage because that's really what it is. It's really not a full coverage foundation. But everything turned out well. I really am liking this eye look. Anyway, guys, if you liked this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye, guys.